Hello, and in this screencast, what I want to do is go back to look at fixture scripts one more time, um, just to refactor this uh, my setup so that I can do um, nice demos. I have my simple object that has this notion of a flag being toggled on or off. At the moment, when I run the application, I have to manually toggle them on and off, and it's a bit annoying. So um, we can easily fix that if we go to the recreate simple objects fixture script. You can see we uh, create as many fi uh, simple objects as we need to. Um, and uh, here's the code that's actually going through and creating each of these objects. So what I could uh, easily do is uh, create a new little flag called toggle. Uh, we'll initialize that to true, say. For each of the objects, as they are created by the child simple object create fixture script, I could then um, set the flag to be the value of toggle, and then I could toggle the toggle. So that hopefully that will um, set up each uh, a simple object, one turned on and one turned off. So let's try this application this out and see what it looks like in the application. Okay, let's see what we have, and we can see that uh, the three simple objects are uh, toggled on and off uh, each in turn. If we were to create some more objects, we would see the effect even more so. Okay, so there you are. That's a very quick demo on using fixture scripts to set up your application as you need. Give it a go, try it out.